In this video I'm going to show you how to create word search puzzles using Word Search Printer, which is software you can download from wordsearchprinter.com. Okay, I've started the program and I'm uh, looking at the initial screen and the first option I want to choose is say create new word search project. Um, so I'm going to start from a blank uh, word list and create my own uh, puzzle from scratch. Now I've, uh, I'm now uh, able to start entering words. I've chosen to the theme animals. So if I enter the first animal alligator, my initial puzzle appears. I can keep entering more and word, words. Baboon, camel, donkey, elephant, frog, and uh, giraffe is the last one. Now, as you can see, the puzzle here is regenerated each time I enter a new word. Uh, I can also change the uh, layout using this button here. So until I get a layout that I'm happy with, I'm looking at the solution to the puzzle. Um, words can go at the moment in any direction at all. Left, right, diagonal, and so forth. Um, uh, and uh, I can now I'll enter one more word, which is actually too long for the grid. So you can see what happens. Hippo, so hippo. And you'll see it's too long. Now, if I make the puzzle size 11 by 11 squares, it still doesn't fit because the hippopotamus is actually 12 uh, letters long and it will fit that. Of course, the uh, letters in the puzzle will be smaller to fit it in. You can also delete a word if I don't want it, so I'm going to just delete the hippopotamus and uh, I'll make the puzzle back to 10 by 10 squares. Um, now, for uh, small children, uh, these diagonal directions, upwards and so forth, may be too difficult. So if I want to, I can also change the uh, word directions and I can turn off all the directions apart from left to right and um, down the page. I don't have to do that, obviously, but that will make an easier puzzle for younger children. Um, I can also change the shape of a puzzle um, very easily by um, basically by just deciding not to use some squares. I'll make the puzzle look more or less round um, by getting rid of some corner squares. If I had a bit more time, I could make a more complicated uh, shape. That will do. And you'll see I have a sort of roundish shape. Um, now, uh, I can also use colours and uh, to change the uh, layout of the appearance of the puzzle. Um, and uh, when I'm ready, I can use these options here to uh, copy the uh, puzzle or the solution, which I'm looking at now, or the word list uh, into a word processor. Um, if, for example, I'm making a magazine or um, into a uh, desktop publishing program or anything like that. Uh, and I also can print them directly from within this program, which is what I'll do now. I'll do print preview rather than print so you can um, see on screen what the uh, printout would look right. Okay, the first page has got the puzzle itself, so the, that's just the one that you give to your students um, and you would ask them, can you find these words? Uh, the next page is the list of words, um, which again you give to your students. And um, the last page here is the um, solution to the puzzle, um, which uh, you can give them at the end or um, you can keep to yourself. So that's it.